Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Wanted to let you beautiful dears know that this week I was reached out to by Wondershare. They want me to show you guys this really cool program of theirs called Demo Creator. Do you want to edit YouTube videos, but don't want to buy an expensive editing software? Well, if you want to make videos like me, you now can! Wondershare recently released Demo Creator. Not only can you edit videos in this thing, but you can also record with it. Two great things packed into one. And this program has a ton of neat features, such as the screen drawing tool, zoom and pan, camera recording, audio fade, transitions, a green screen, captions, and annotations. Yeah. So if you want access to all these cool features from the Wondershare Demo Creator, click the link in the description and get to making your very own YouTube content today. Wendy, come here. If you call me Wendy one more time, Lubot, I swear to God. Shut up. Look outside. Man. What? What is she doing? I don't know. She's been standing out there for like 15 minutes. Hang on. Lucy, get inside. No. Why not? I've seen God. That's it. We've lost her. I'm closing the door. No, you're not. Lucy, fuck's sake, get in this house this minute or I'm going to melt all your Legos. You wouldn't dare. I'm going to do it. All right, all right, I'm coming. Okay, dipass. What in Sam shit were you babbling about? I saw the most amazing movie. So that's what made you stand out in the rain during a thunderstorm for 15 minutes. No. Wait, wait. Yes. I remember when you went to see Joker, you wouldn't stop watching school shooting documentaries. No, 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 no. Not good as in a massive thought-provoking piece. Good as in there is no other explanation besides a divine being creating it. What's it even about? It's called Hoodwinked. It's about Little Red Riding Hood, the Big Bad Wolf, Grandma, and the Schnitzel Man getting arrested by police. Schnitzel Man? What? Why is everything you watch terrible? As I said, the movie starts with all the characters mentioned being detained. There's a goodie bandit on the loose, and they're all held in question. With Red's story, of course, Starting off with throwing a cinder block off of a highway, causing a 12-car pileup. No, the world is too dangerous for me. Ah, Pansy! Danger! Turn into the skin! I'm okay! I'll walk it off! Why does this movie look like raped Swiss cheese put in a microwave? My god, this animation is atrocious. Looks like it was filmed at Gary's Mod. Red takes her grandma's recipe book and heads up the mountain, falling out of the trolley and encountering the wolf. Granny, Granny Pucket, the goody lady? My goodness, she makes some good goodies. She's got a thing. It's like a, uh, it's like a, uh, it's cookies. Shortbread chocolate dicing between. Very. It's good. Hey, he sounds like. That's right. The wolf is voiced by no one other than Joe Swanson. God in heaven, I think I just came a little. Do you even know what the actual voice actor's name is? No. Joe Swanson gets maced. Back in the home as Nomeo's bride is telling her story, they begin suspecting the wolf is the thief. And the pigs realize holding Gary Busey hostage is technically illegal, so they let him go. Yes, yes. But we don't arrest people for being creepy. Yeah, Bruce? Know that guy we got in the tank? Uh, the creepy one? Yeah, better let him go. The Crimson Chin then meets a banjo twiddling goat who lets her use his phone. But then he goes on a 48 hour drug binge, singing and then kidnapping the little girl, throwing her on the Thunder Mountain Railroad roller coaster. Is that Toby Wan Kenobi? No, it's Luke Skywalker. No, I think it's Ruth Bader Ginsburg's ghost. Red enters her grandma's house and begins to start calling the wolf a variety of slurs. Red is then interrupted while talking with the wolf as the moon man launches through the window wielding a rather sharp Happy Meal toy. After finishing her story, the officers ask to talk to Joe Swanson. The frog recognizes him from Family Guy while Smokey the Bear spits in his eyes. Some more recipes go missing. The trail's gotten hotter. Huh? 
<laughs> Is he in blackface? I'm gonna need the names of all your suppliers. You'll have to talk to Earl. Is that just a furry living amongst animals? Guys, you're asking the wrong questions. The real question is, why haven't any of us killed ourselves yet? All right. Russian roulette, one bullet in the chamber. I'll go first. I, I don't think it that's entirely safe, Luba. Your turn. After stalking the little bicycle girl, Joe Swanson gets assaulted by the town's local crack whore, trying to score some cash for a quick dick suck. The crack whore agrees to take explicit photos in exchange for more crack. And the wolf meets with an Italian wearing a very thick sweater. Little Red? Processing? Yeah, yeah, it's coming back to me now. Sweet gal, not like that Bo Peep. That brat put an invisible fence. I tasted my own feelings for a week. Focus! I think that's just a sheet that looks like an Italian. I, I guess so. I mean, haven't you seen how thick the sweaters they wear are? You got that from Family Guy. I get all of my cultural information from Family Guy. The wolf hears only part of Red's conversation, thinks she's the thief, and confronts her. After getting his ass kicked by a little girl, the same sus-looking bunny gives the wolf bad information to get into Grandma's house, and he comes out on tracks. Getting in a cart, making his way down a similar railroad that Red did, the crack whore lights a candle, only it's not a candle and it lights all the other candles, causing a massive act of domestic terrorism annihilating the city's roadways. Hey, okay, okay, I found these box of candles! I mean box! Box of candles? Light them up! Wow, that's nice and bright. What kind of candles are those? <sighs> Bean or meat pain! Oh, must be Italian! <laughs> Shortly after, arriving at Granny's house undetected, the police ask to speak to the axe man who seems to be having some sort of stroke discussing some juicy bunion cream, which is for a commercial he tried to audition for. After failing his audition, we get the greatest assembly of moving images ever created. Schnitzel! Schnitzel man can serve them quick. It's a schnitzel on a stick. What the hell am I watching? Why do you people make these fucking things? As a German, I think I should be offended, but it's amazing. If they wanted to be uber-realistic, they need to address the innate genetic drive within all Germans. Your unhealthy desire to put bank owners in gas chambers? You mean Jesperzi. There's a difference? No, you idiot. I was talking about her obsession with industrial accomplishments. And, uh, I'm pimping the auto. It looks like it could fly. What time is it? I don't know. Time to unpimp the auto. Yeah, but the first thing too. Kirk the Schnitzel Man gets a call back on his audition and proceeds to go on a wood slicing rampage, but shows how he got launched into the house by falling down a hill through the window. Afterwards, Granny is revealed to be an extreme sportswoman. You be careful, Granny Pocket. Old ladies get hurt on these slopes. Why am I watching an elderly woman endanger her life? Because it's kind of funny. Bingo. Then Jerome from Family Guy and Granny shred some powder dudes. Shut the fuck up. Jerome and a big juicy European guy grapple in the snow for a minute before Granny single-handedly annihilates all the Europeans with big white balls. The big juicy European man tries to kill Granny, but Granny sets off a Moab blowing half of the mountain to hell. And it's revealed that the force ghost scene actually fucking happened. She lands and gets caught by the fucking ceiling fan and is launched into the closet. Red gets turbo bitchy mode, complaining about being a delivery girl even though she's literally a child, and she takes off her hood. How ghastly. After sulking in the woods because her grandma is poggers, Stop saying that stupid fucking word. Someone steals her hood and steals the basket while the pig cop is asleep. Hey, <laughs> pig cap. They racially profile the wolf, but then come to the conclusion that the rabbit is the thief. After all the cops leave, the schnitzel tank rolls in and... Schnitzel tank? The crack whore finally gets their crack and launches up the mountain and we discover the evil lair of the filthy Europeans, their boss being Bunny Bun Buttballs. And then, after an intense fight that puts the Matrix to shame, Red gets her shit rock. Then the bunny bullies the crap out of Keith, because it's a bad name. Why is it a bad name? It just sounds so stupid. And Sugar Spritzer doesn't. Why do you keep trying to make Keith work? Granny gets assaulted and they all gangbang the juicy European man. Schnitzel Man wanders in dressed as the European while the wolf distracts the bunny and Granny Spider-Man's across the walls. Granny breaks open Pitbull's skull with a rolling pin, and then goes sicko mode down the trolley cable. Granny then sets off a nuke, causing the death of an entire fish ecosystem. The rabbit and his European gangbangers get arrested. Granny and Red make up. Schnitzel Man crashes the tank into a tree, wrecking somebody's car. Joe Swanson, Ruby Rose, and Carol Burnett all join a detective agency and live happily ever after. Holy shit, that's the worst piece of crap I've ever seen. If you ever watch this movie again, I will burn you in your sleep, Lucy. Yeah, it was pretty gay. Yeah.